hand in hand on the edge of the sand, they dance by the light of the moon. We are passionate about celebrating the human voice and its ability to tell stories through music. So don't, so don't be afraid of the dark, for the stars are here to guide us. When we reimagine stories, we want to create a new way of telling that story through music. Certain music works for children's ears better than other types of music. We work with Kadai principles which are used across primary school music teaching in Australia. I have a bit of both. Oh yes. It's pea green and it flows. It's second hand and not so grand but it comes with a puff and bang. We believe that music is so important for communicating a message in a multi-sensory way. When we first sat down to imagine uh, the owl and the pussycat and we went, well, where and when is this set? Imagine a land where no humans dwell and animals wear human qualities well. Where cats, they can talk. And owls, they can play on instruments crafted in Fairbong Tree Bay. <laughs> When we have young children come to our shows, we like to let them feel that they have ownership of the space. And by doing that, children feel empowered to have a closer relationship to our performers. Everything inside the story is carefully structured to take the children on a journey. We love to take on well-known material and find a contemporary way of expressing the really important morals and values that are in those stories. Our current production of Alan the Pussycat can be indoors, it can be outdoors, we can reconfigure whether you want to be in a botanical garden, if you want to be in a black box theatre, if you want to be in an unconventional space we can come and bring our work to you. Will this journey ever cease? I've almost finished War in Peace. A Little Match Productions, we like to have rigorous collaboration and create the best possible artistic product. You're a wise one, Al. Woo